Well, I think if we left it open, we could see how many people smoked pot in high school. And when I was in England, I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it. And didn't inhale, and never tried it again. What? And didn't inhale, and never tried it again. What? The devil is a motherfucking liar. So 40 years ago, I smoked marijuana, uh, and I admit it. I'm sure that other people might have done it, and may not want to say it in front of 25 million people. I smoked pot. Oh, you asked me. You asked me a question back in May, and you can repeat that question. Did you inhale? Th that was the point. What? Yes, I have smoked crack cocaine. Okay. I'm the man who spent more time in prison for medical, for marijuana than anybody in the history of the country. I spent 30 years in for a nonviolent marijuana offense. I used to be a smuggler. It is clear that the last three Americans that have risen to the status of President of the United States have committed the crime of possession and use of marijuana. Not only do those arrested face imprisonment, they also face a criminal record that will remain with them for the rest of their lives and will be the basis of discrimination in housing, education, and employment. When filling out an application, the question is not, have you ever used marijuana? The question is, did you get caught? If Bill Clinton, George Bush, or Barack Obama had been arrested and given a criminal record while they were committing their youthful indiscretions, would they have been able to move on with their lives and become President of the United States? This morning, 19-year-old Jacob Lavoro from just north of Austin could be facing up to life in prison for allegedly baking and selling pot brownies. I don't understand it. Joe Lavoro can't believe prosecutors have charged his son with a first-degree felony. If convicted, this former high school football player with a clean record faces five years to life behind bars. It's putting me in a really scary situation and Honestly, I can't stop crying about it. You have been lawfully tried in this court and found guilty on all charges. Do you have anything to say on your own behalf before I pronounce sentence? Uh, ain't nothing I say gonna get me out of this. But things were getting bad for me and I had to do what I had to do to, to survive. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm a conservative, but I'll be damned. This is wrong. Maybe it was wrong, but I, I certainly didn't mean for anybody to be hurt. I do hereby sentence you to the custody of the Attorney General of the United States for a period of 15 years to life. Oh, my God. These proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. Life? What do you mean, life? For all the shit I did for this motherfucking country? The fuck he talking about life? Man, fuck you! Fuck you! Hey.